Lulu's parents, struggling to get by day to day, were hoping to marry off their daughters as soon as possible. In many cases, the poorer the parents, the greater the urgency for this type, or more severe, of a solution. Sometimes, in destitute communities, girls and women are perceived as property, bought and sold. Girls and young women are married off by their indebted parents to much older men who are able to feed and provide for them. Parents can have their debts paid off with such shameful, financially driven arrangements. These kinds of marriages lead to a lifetime of poverty, abuse, and disadvantage. Even in the U.S., girls as young as 14, and in many states even younger, can be married off by their parents. Sometimes, child marriage is practiced by families in exile as an extension of their traditions from their country of origin. Many of these children are tricked into going back to their home countries and married off to relatives whom they don't wish to marry. Other times, young marriage is practiced by religious families who have been living in the U.S. for many generations, evangelical, Mormon, Catholic, Muslim, Jewish, and other religions and sects. Poverty often isn't the main reason for these arranged marriages in the U.S. and other countries around the world. However, many of these girls are completely financially dependent on their parents and thereafter on their husbands. It would be too scary for these young women to even consider running away without any financial support. Forcing, pressuring, or persuading young women to marry mostly stems from parents wanting their daughters to be taken care of,